All right, Laredo. This is uh, Ron Howard, and I'm visiting with Laredo Bokley today, and he's up in New York, and it's pretty cold up there right now, right? It sure is. Uh, nice, lots of snow and, uh, and chilly weather. Well, we're going to be talking today a little bit about how he got started in his business and what he was doing and, and uh, a little bit about his story. So, Laredo, why don't you start out and, and tell us a little bit about your business and how you got started. Well, uh, my wife and I started this business. Uh, it's a residential uh, commercial cleaning company. We started it back in uh, July of 2008. We um, started it based on a bet. And uh, I won, and now we have a business. Um, uh, but uh, that being said, it, it uh, even though we had no idea that it was going to turn out to be a good business, um, we've been blessed every step of the way. Awesome. Uh, Tell us a little bit about your business in the beginning. Sure. In, in the very beginning, uh, we started out advertising uh, kind of the conventional ways, like with little penny savers. Um, I, I set up a real basic three page website that I was capable of, of creating myself. Um, you know, just some real basic stuff. And I got basic results. Uh, you know, I mean, we did very well for uh, a startup probably, but we were charging way too little, uh, working way too hard. And, um, you know, it was reflecting in, in our, our sales, um, the at that time we didn't know about products like yours out there um and the ones that i did find companies uh, such as yours the dollar amount that they were charging to build a customized website was way out of our price range um you know it, it, it was in the stratosphere it was nine ten thousand dollars to to build a custom website um, and so when we, we found you guys, uh, we got tied in with, uh, Gene and Steve Hansen, um, and we found you guys through them. Um, and, and there was just so much value in the website. We, we couldn't possibly turn it down. And the interesting thing is, is once we started it, um, we saw a dramatic difference, not so much at first from a web presence, but when we went out and we started talking to our customers, and they had viewed our website prior to uh, meeting with us, they kept telling us that they thought we were a franchise. That, it, you know, that the quality, the crispness, the, the calls to action built into the website. Um, and that, in addition to some of the other things that we were doing with, you know, uh, typical advertising at the time, it really helped it. Um, sometime after that, um, we found that uh, the conventional forms of advertising were not getting us the clientele that we wanted or needed. What was uh, some of that conventional? What were you doing on that? Uh, newspaper ads, uh, yellow pages advertising, um, uh, business card, uh, you know, ads in, in uh, flyers. Um, they, we, we were getting, we were generating leads. But the kind of leads that we wanted, you know, we look for Cadillac customers and what we were getting is, you know, Ford and Chevy customers. Nothing wrong with them, but it really wasn't going to take us to, to where we needed to go. And it wasn't going to allow us to scale our business and, and to be able to hire staff. Uh, it was going to basically keep us in the field. How, um, how expensive was that going that route? Well, on the per lead basis, it, at the time, I didn't think it was expensive. But looking back now, seeing what, what we get now for our money, it was extremely expensive. You know, because sometimes you don't know what you don't know. And, and it's as simple as that. And I just didn't know. Were you spending thousands of dollars a month on advertising or? No, no. Uh, we've never been a, a company that's been able to, well, I shouldn't say that. We probably do now. But uh, at that time, no, probably hundreds of dollars a month. Uh, however, uh, Again, we may have added one or two new customers per month. Now we add one or two customers every single week, and we have a brand name presence in our community. Go ahead. So what was your, your website before? You said you kind of put one up, a little three-pager, that you, you're able to manage it and change it. What was some of the limitations that you found with that website? What was the problems? Well, number one, I was not, a, I'll give you an example. One thing, the difference between it and you uh, is 
your websites, they had calls to action, okay, which prompted customers to do something, okay. Mine, I, I didn't even know about that form of marketing before. And so on my website, it was, it was basically like a, an electronic brochure, which is really boring. People don't read brochures anyways, and they certainly weren't reading our website. And what we actually heard back from some of our customers was, you need to change your website. It, you, are, you are projecting an image of professionalism and your website you know, looks second rate. And it makes, makes a big difference in how you look to people. Yeah, and I mean, one of the three pages just had contact information on it. So really, we had one of, they had some substance on it. One had a, you know, a, a form submission, and which was, a, it wasn't even really a call to action, but it gave somebody to, the ability to reach us. And I think in the year and a half that we had that website, we had two or three people contact us that way. Now, a year? In, in, yeah, in a year and a half. And now, you know, we get a couple people every single month uh, contacting us in, a, in, in probably one of, or uh, in probably each of the ways they have available. So in other words, um, on our new website with you folks, uh, we have employment applications. So I have three or four uh, employment applications being submitted every single week. Uh, we have uh, a five things you should know um, contact on there, to, you know, before you let somebody into your home. I get one or two of those at least a month, and I get one probably or two um, requests for service every month. Um, I probably get um, one every about every two months. I'll get a, um, a request for uh, like a newsletter. Um, or something of that, you know, some other information. So we get we get substantially more requests now. Now, mind you, we're in a very rural area. Um, you know, we're not in a, a large metropolitan area. Um, I have to drive literally two hours from one end of our territory to the other, and the total population in the area that we service is about 386,000 people. And like I said, we have to drive two hours to service 386,000 people. Well, with the on top marketing system that you've got in place now with us, um, you, your website f was getting a few visitors before, and now you're getting over a thousand a month actually on your on the website. Now you're getting a thousand visitors looking at you, and and uh, and then I'm sure some of those are calling, so you're getting probably straight calls off the website. Sure, sure. Uh, we, now we do a couple things. We do some layering. Um, uh, you know, marketing pieces. In other words, we do some stuff with, with uh, Craigslist, but it's connected through our website. And, um, and then it's kind of very validated by our Google presence. So uh, a customer gets about three touches from us and uh, two of them are, you know, from you and uh, or through you. And anyways, that just adds a lot of validity. And again, we continuously hear you. Are you guys a franchise? Um, you know, if you look at a Mary Maids uh, or a Molly Maids uh, website and you look at our website, uh, it's impressive. You know, we're impressive and we come across that way. Um, another thing of on top local does for us, we would probably drown in our area. Uh, it would be almost impossible for me personally to do what I do using on top local marketing. Um, I'm able to plug in articles, uh, at least once or twice a week where I might do an article for every single, uh, community that we service. So I might do 10 to 13 articles a week, at least. Uh, in each of my different companies names um, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll type in on the uh, uh, title on the, on the title something like best cleaning services in Ithaca New York 14850 comma carpet cleaning with advantage cleaning services and so I'm hitting a lot of keywords I'm giving an original um, article so I'm not duplicating my articles because we know that Google's going to start attacking us if we start doing if we continue to do that so I've got all this great fresh content every single week in each of the areas that I service now if I were in a larger metropolitan area say like Boston 
which may have 10 zip codes, I would, I would, I would destroy that market. I, I would own it uh, with your product. And, and, you know, so some of the folks that I talk to, I get to talk to a lot of folks who call me, you know, who, who want to understand you know, or who want to know if this is a good product all over the country. And some of these folks are from real cities. And, and I just, I hear them saying, well, I can't get this and I can't get that. You're not following the system. The system, if I can do it where I'm at and in the most rural area in upstate New York, uh, I could ease, and I know this for a fact, I can easily do it in a metropolitan area. So how much time do you think you spend a week uh, or a day on this? Uh, now, actually, I've got it down. I've got a, a pretty good system down to maybe 20 or 30 minutes an entire week. Um, it used to be about 15 minutes a day, but I, I, I've tested some, you know, some kind of theories using your system. And now I can do, like I said, about 10 or 13 articles a week for each of my websites um, uh, or whatever I feel like doing. It's about 20 minutes worth of work. And that's not just for one. That's not for one website. That's for two websites. Okay. I have three with you, but I do it religiously with two of them. For two of them on it. So when you started your business before you got the on top uh, marketing system, uh, do you mind telling us about what you were making a year? I think I think back then we were grossing about 144 and we're grossing a little under 400,000 this year or uh, yes, this year we're at about a little under 400,000. Now we expect to be somewhere between a half a million and about 740,000 by year's end. That's awesome. Yeah, I think we had to market it out to about over $700,000 that you thought you were going to get down to. So that's yeah. pretty that's pretty amazing going from those figures from 140 up to over 700,000. Yeah, yes, it's 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 amazing. Uh it's a, it's a lot of work. It's not uh you know, a lot of folks think you can just do one thing, uh, but it's the one thing added in layers that really makes the package, you know, and that's what we found. But I, the websites, like I said, the call to actions on the websites, if you check out some of the major marketers in this country, uh, whom I, I know a little bit about now, uh, these guys, that's the number one thing they're saying about, you know, a website is have a call to action. You guys do on every single template I've seen you have on all three of mine. There's a call to action on each and every one of them. Um, you know, you allow for videos. Um, another thing, you know, that's been hugely helpful to me is I'm used to working with a lot of companies who try and sell me over the phone. And that's the last time I'm going to ever talk to that person. Then I'm going to be handed off to Bill or Bob you know, or somebody overseas, uh, and I can call you almost any day of the week. And if you're not on vacation, <laughs> I can get you. And you know, you've you've given me um, a lot of personal time that I I don't I actually don't expect. But I'm not going to let you get away with not giving it to me now because you, <laughs> you've ruined me. But spoiled you. Right. You spoil me because like when I've asked you specifically about videos, yes, you guys have videos, how to videos right on the website to teach you how to do things. But when I wasn't sure and I called and asked you directly, you were able to help me with that. That doesn't happen with most of the companies that I work with. And I, I got to tell you, I just, I just thought a little while ago, I, I got a call from another company similar to yours who had some interesting ideas that was doing some things different than you. And I didn't, I did not um, check them out. Now with you, I already knew Gene and Steve Hansen. So I trusted you walking in the door. This other company, I didn't do my due diligence and I got ripped off 200 bucks. Um, you know, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Um, they did not do anything for me. So with the on top marketing system, um, it, it seems to be 15 to 20 minutes a week or 20, 30 minutes a week for you now. Uh, right. Value wise, what do you think value wise that's brought to you? Well, I, I think I'm getting more than what I pay for, um, but I want it to stay that way. <laughs> uh, um, would it say value, you save you thousands of dollars a month? 
yes, I couldn't afford if you truly charged for what we're getting, I couldn't even afford you. Um, and so I think there's tremendous value in it. Uh, I'll give you an example uh, with you folks, you know, for what we're getting, we're, our return on investment with you guys is in the thousands of percent every single month. That's uh, not normal. Now, because it's internet based, it seems to be more normal, you know, with internet based products. But uh, like I said, I have the personal touch with you guys. Uh, I have direct contact with you or Troy or Trevor if I want. Um, you know, I call and I ask you about uh, vanity uh, uh, email accounts. You set it up for me. No questions asked. You don't throw another bill at me. Well, uh, you know, I think that we're, we are starting to realize some of our initial goals when we started the business. We wanted to create a scalable business that was turnkey. Um, as a result, where on top local marketing's helped us is obviously it's generated leads, which we've been able to convert into customers, and that gives us uh, cash flow. Cash flow has given us the ability to hire. Uh, now we have a commercial accounts manager and a residential accounts manager. We just hired them this last month, uh, brought them up to the ranks and little by little, they're taking over many of the duties that my wife and I once have held because of that, that frees us up with some time to grow the business, uh, to take some vacations. Uh, last year we went to, let's see, last year we went to Disney world. Last year we went to Houston. Uh, last year we went to um, uh, Las Vegas. Uh, we went to the Thousand Islands and we went to the Adirondacks. So we had well over a month of vacations last year, about five or six weeks of vacations. Now, did that happen before on top marketing systems? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Uh, no, as a matter of fact, uh, vacationing only started three years ago, right about the time. Uh, we started with you folks, and we added in the Adirondacks and um, the the, uh, the Thousand oh, Islands, right? Wow. And then and then last year it really exploded. Now, last year we did about a quarter of a million, and you know that changed everything for us. Um, this year, of course, we're going to have another uh, you know life changing year, and next year we know we'll be over a million um, in gross revenues. That's awesome. Well, Laredo, any, any last words for somebody that uh, starting in your business or in carpet cleaning or uh, commercial or that type of a service area, uh, you would tell them? Well, what I would say, if you're in the window cleaning, carpet cleaning, uh, residential home cleaning business, um, on top marketing uh, is – is an absolute necessity um, unless you want to spend, you know, several hundred dollars a month with another company um, and get limited results. Uh, commercial cleaning, the website is key and it needs to be crisp and clean. Um, and I'm not great with the, the, the online marketing in that area. I don't know much about that yet. I'm learning. I, I hired a uh, consultant to help me with that, but uh, the other areas I know very well. And, um, they're growing rapidly. Uh, but the one thing I'll say, and, and this uh, is it, is successful people do what other people do uh, and have mastered. In other words, I'm not going to try and reinvent the wheel. I don't need to create the system. You guys already have it. If I do what you tell me to do, I'll be successful. And that's what I've done. I don't make excuses and I don't whine around uh, expecting miracles. Um, I do exactly what I'm told. And I get good results. And that's really the key. If you are willing to do the work and willing to listen, this will work very well for you. If you're not, um, I don't think you're going to be successful. I think that yeah. goes with about anything, Laredo, if you're willing to put the effort in. But the effort you're putting in is about 30 minutes a week. I don't know yeah. where in the world you can put that in. No, I know. And, and it's great, but it's, uh, but still I can put 30 minutes in a week and try and do it my way and not follow your system and not get the kind of results I do. Everything I do, I learn from you. 
So, you. or, you know, at least when it comes to your system, I learned it from you. Awesome. So. Great, Laredo. I want to thank you so much, and and uh, I'm glad you're getting more vacation time in your life. You and your wife deserve that. Appreciate your time uh, sharing this with others, so that they might grow and and increase their business also. All right. Thank you so much, and God bless you. You bet. God bless you. Goodbye. All right. Bye.